Hi, Rachel Pico here with Life Abundant Ministries. I am excited. Okay, <laughs> I was trying to get the lighting right on this. I am excited to be posting and sharing live with you today. Um, there's a lot of exciting things going on with our ministry, and we have been waiting to share. We've been sitting on this for a while. So, um, so first of all, I want to get this out there that if you are seeing this, awesome, because Facebook has again changed their algorithm and people are not seeing posts from businesses. So if you could go to our Facebook page and um, where you would click like us, click that. And then there's three options. There's default or default. And then there's uh, see first and then there's unfollow. So if you can go and click the see first, then all of our um, all of our memes and our pictures and our updates, they will all actually show up on your newsfeed. If not, uh, you might not be seeing any of the, the posts and the updates that we're making. And there's a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline. So for those of you who have not seen, in June, we will be having a conference and, <clears throat> excuse me, it'll actually be June 9th and it'll be held at the Lansing Center in Lansing. And there's going to be a lot of great teaching, a lot of uh, great information that you're going to need to get straight from the Word of God to our hearts, to your ears. And it's wonderful that we have this opportunity. This is a huge opportunity for us. And God has really just put the people on our hearts. He has put this this burden of people on our hearts. And so our seminar, our, our conference is going to be on, it's going to be called Carefree, which is perfect. Carefree, it's the 2018 Family Faith Conference. And it's so exciting that we're able to do this. And uh, it's like I said, it's going to be, it's a Saturday. And the best part is it is free, no cost at all. You might have to pay for parking. I think there's, uh, there's a parking facility there. So that's super exciting. Also, we are going to start having our regular teaching series. Uh, they'll be going underway shortly, and it'll just be daily teachings with either Bryce or myself or both of us. And so that's really exciting. God has really put it on our heart. He, we are called, it is our goal to teach and preach and equip the people, the body of Christ, so that they can be prepared to give an answer to the hope that is within them. And what's amazing is that we have been just presented this opportunity to, to speak to the body of Christ, to teach people and, and to equip, to bring them up. And, you know, will, will some people be saved along the way? Will some people receive Christ for the first time? Yes, absolutely. But we are there to teach those of you out there who maybe have some questions and uh, maybe have some concerns. There's some things that are weighing heavily on you. People are burdened with the care of their families or the care of their finances or the care of their health. And we've been instructed to cast our cares, to cast our cares at the feet of Jesus. And so, <clears throat> so that is what we are, are going to be teaching on. If that sounds like something that you might be interested in, then go to our website, life-abundant.org, where you'll learn more, not just about our conference, but about what we believe, about our teaching. We have some resources on there that you can download. Everything on our website is available for free download. And that's why we make, we make all of our resources available for free. And, and we do that because when we get it to you, we are sowing into you. And we, t we have a teaching where we teach that everything is seed. And, and I believe that this teaching is a seed that when it gets into your heart, and if you allow your, your heart to be good soil, then this teaching can get into your heart and it can, it can have a, a good solid root and it can grow and it can bear fruit. And then you can go out and share that fruit with other people. So we're excited about that. I wanted to share with you something. You know, as I said, everything that we provide is free and everything that we do is through the work of our partners. And so we wanted to, to talk today briefly about partnership. Now, uh, Paul, for those of you who don't know, 
um, Paul was, um, was somebody who used to persecute the Christians very early on, but then Jesus opened his eyes very literally and, and said, no, you need to be working with me, Paul. And Paul ended up writing the majority of the New Testament. Um, and one of the, the letters that Paul wrote to the Philippians, he thanks them for their ministry with him. And I'm, I'm going to read just a little bit here. It's, uh, it's Philippians, it's chapter 4, and it starts in verse 10 is where I'd like to read. I'm reading from the New International Version. And Paul says here, I rejoice greatly in the Lord that at last you have renewed your concern for me. Indeed, you have been concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. I'm not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content, whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in every and in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. Verse 14. Yeah, it was good of you to share in my troubles. Moreover, as you Philippians know, in the early days of your acquaintance with the gospel, when I set out from Macedonia, not one church shared with me in the manner of giving and receiving except you only. For even when I was in Thessalonica, you sent me aid again and again when I was in need. Not that I am looking for a gift, but I am looking for what may be credited to your account. I have received full payment and even more. I am amply supplied. Now that I have received from Aphrodite the gifts you sent, they are a fragrant offering, an acceptable sacrifice, pleasing to God. And my God will meet all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. So some of those scriptures, there's a few in there that may sound very familiar to some of you. One of them, my God shall meet all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. That's Philippians verse four, chapter 4, verse 19. I bet you didn't know Paul was talking to his partners when he said that. He says in verse uh, 15 that not one church shared with me in the matter of giving and receiving except for you only. Now we know all the places that Paul went, but there was one church Thessalonica that gave to Paul when he was when he was out and uh, spreading the gospel, and I find that I mean I find that amazing first of all, but Paul says here he says I've learned how to you know how how to do everything I can with great and do everything I can with little I've learned it's a, you know he says I've learned the secret, and I find it. Amazing, first of all, that more people didn't find the need. But what I love here is that Paul is saying, he's saying, no, I'm not looking for a gift, but I'm looking for what may be credited to your account. And I find that when he is talking to, to his partners, when he's talking to them, he's not saying, he's not saying, you know, hey, look what I've done with, he's not giving them an expense report of look what I've done with, with the money. But I want to say, here we go. Chapter, in chapter one, it's still Philippians chapter one. You'll have to flip a couple pages. I thank God every time I remember you and all my prayers for all of you. I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to the completion until the day of Jesus Christ. And I just, it, it is, and it continues here, verse 7, it is right for me to feel this way about all of you since I have you in my heart. For whether I am in chains or defending and confirming the gospel, all of you share in God's grace with me. God can testify how I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. He's saying here, you know, that, that all of you share in God's grace with me. He's saying that because they have partnered with him financially, that the, all of those partners are receiving the grace that God has put upon Paul, that everything that Paul has done, they share in that glory, which is just amazing. I mean, I know God is, is always looking to just pour out blessings 
blessings toward us. It's, it's, I teach my daughters that they need to expect the blessing. I say, have your buckets ready. Hold your little bucket out. Have your, have your buckets ready so that when God's blessing is pouring out, you're ready to receive it. Because he's always looking to find a way. Every nook and every cranny, he is looking to bless you. And when, and Bryce and I have personally been partners with a, a few different ministries for years. We have been prayer partners. We've been financial partners. We've sowed seed in those ministries many times. And it never quite occurred to me that, huh, the work they're doing as ministers is credited to our account. And that was just another way that God was able to bless us. And so now here we are all these years later doing projects. And I'll be very honest, people have been just called. I mean, out of the blue, without us asking, they've just said, you know what, we believe in what you're doing and we want to be a part of it. And, you know, can we give to you financially? And of course we're like, well, yeah, because everything we do we provide for free and so we have to pay for it somehow so of course you can sew into our ministry we would love that and um and we are a nonprofit, so that's um that is something where we're able to give a tax benefit which is nice we're able to to give a receipt and provide a tax benefit but at the heart of the matter you know there's a greater benefit than that tax deduction at the end you know that that god is going to respond to the seed that you sow. So we were reading this the other day, Bryce and I were reading this the other day, and I said, we need to be asking for partners. We need to ask for people to partner with what we are doing. This isn't just Bryce and Rachel. This is Life Abundant Ministries. This is everyone who stands in faith with us and with, you know, with God that we are in this together, that we are here to teach that the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but Jesus, but Jesus has come to give us life and life more abundantly. And there are so many people who, are miss, who, who miss that. Maybe they've heard that, but they don't understand that, that God is the good guy and the devil is the bad guy. And there's, there's so many people who, who don't realize that God wants to bless them, that they just expect what they're going to get in heaven someday, maybe. No. God wants to bless you in the here and now. And, and there's, a lot, um, there's a lot of misconception about, well, I mean, uh, throughout the word of God, there's a lot of misconception. But I think, I think the message that we give at Life Abundant Ministries, I think the message that we give is, is of course, one of abundance, but it's one of hope. And and that's why I was so excited when I, I found out, you know, I was, I was talking with God and I found out <laughs> that we were going to be having a conference in June. And um, I'm like, okay, well, what do you want us to preach on God? What do you want us to teach? And it just, it just came to us on casting your cares, on not being so burdened with the cares of life that you're just drowning in it. And, and in that moment, he put the hearts of, of all of these people, just, they were just suddenly on my heart and it just brought me to tears. I thought, oh, wow, that's, that's really sad. And so, you know, I said to Bryce, this is something that we have to do. And then weeks later, the new revelation that this isn't something that you have to do alone was like, Wow oh, I guess I could cast that care. That's wonderful. It's not just Bryce and Rachel doing this. It's Bryce and Rachel and, and all of our partners. And so I, I do ask, I ask that you are prayerful about it, that you talk to God and you wait to hear an answer because I do know that he is waiting to pour out blessings, that he is, um, that he is faithful to provide seed to the sower and bread for food. He is faithful. If you're thinking to yourself, there is no way I could come up with even a dollar. I know, I know what you're thinking. But if money is that tight, I've got to testify. If you can't come up with a dollar, then 
you need to sow some seed. So, um, and that is one of the things that, that we'll be teaching as well, because we're going to be talking about finances. But so be prayerful, um, not just about par- partnering with us financially, because we need people to partner with us prayerfully as well. We've got a big conference that's going to be going on. And, you know, we, we have a lot of, a lot of balls in the air, a lot of I's that need to be dotted and T's that need to be crossed. And so be prayerful uh, that everything runs smoothly. Be prayerful that the people who need to be there come. And uh, be prayerful that you could partner with us. And what I want you to know is when you partner with our ministry, it's not just you give us money and we go do stuff with it. It's you are joining with us like the Philippians did with Paul. You are joining with us in partnership and receiving the grace that we have been given. You will be receiving a word from the Lord. I have to tell you quickly, I know I'm running out of time, but I want to tell you quickly, our very first partner was our daughter. She just turned seven and we were talking about partnership and I'm sure she was within earshot. Excuse me. And she said, well, I want to be your partner. And I said, oh, baby, that's so sweet. Thank you. And she went to her piggy bank and she got $10 out, which, you know, for a seven-year-old, that's a chunk of change. And she says, here, I want to be your first partner. I don't even think she said she wanted to be my first partner. She just said, I want to be your partner. And um, my husband and I were like, okay. And so we received that. And then, um, and, and like our partners, we said, okay, well, we're going to pray for our partners. I mean, we pray for our kids anyway, but we prayed for her as we would a partner. And I am not kidding. Within two days, this kid was talking about just, you know, like plans of the future, how... You know, God has called her to do this, this, and this, and this is how things are going to be. And for a seven-year-old, that's not generally the way that they talk. They don't talk with the the distinctness or uh, uh, anything in concrete, like, well, this is how it's going to be. A lot of her talk was different up until this point. And so she had just decided that this is what she's going to do, and this is what, you know, God's called her to do, and uh, and... I really, I talked with Bryce about it and and we prayed about it and I was like, oh wow, she's getting a word from God on her future. And, and I really believe it's because she's sharing in our grace as a partner. And I know that sounds kind of a silly thing for just a seven-year-old, but trust me, God doesn't think any of it is silly. None of it is trivial. So, um, so yes, we have our conference coming out. I discussed about, um, liking us on Facebook and changing that. And then, of course, um, I talked to you about partnership. If you guys have any questions, you are welcome. Bryce and I are both very accessible. If you have any questions, we would love to hear from you. You are welcome to hit us up on our Facebook page or email us. Um, You can do that through our website. And um, you can even hit us up on Facebook. I know a lot of you are are able to just, just click on there. Our settings are not set to private. So we would love to hear from you. We would love to know... Uh, what you're thinking. Even if you just want to say, hey, we're praying for you. Uh, We're not able to financially give right now, but we're praying for you. Um, So yeah, so we're excited about that. Keep your eyes peeled for all sorts of of other things. And I really hope that this message has, has been uplifting and blessing. Go out there and enjoy some beautiful weather. We'll talk to you soon. God bless.